a shift of cybersecurity burdens, prediction of major gains for high-tech roof systems, EV charging satisfaction continues to drop and more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Welcome to First Shift. Coming up, more on those headlines soon. But first, our lead story. General Motors is investing in a battery materials startup as it works on next-generation lithium-ion phosphate batteries in an effort to speed up development of lower-cost electric vehicles. The automaker says it led a $60 million Series B funding round in Mitra Chem, a company that focuses on developing iron-based cathodes and getting products to market faster with machine learning simulators. Mitra Chem is also working to create a supply chain that meets geographic sourcing requirements of the Inflation Reduction Act. The collaboration between the two companies could allow GM to bring the future battery chemistries into its Altium-based EVs. As automobiles increasingly depend on vulnerable software, there's a growing debate over whether automakers should face the type of cybersecurity regulations practiced in Europe. The Biden administration wants to shift cybersecurity burdens from individuals, small businesses, and local governments to automakers and other big companies. The White House's national cybersecurity strategy calls on organizations that are most capable and best positioned to reduce risks to take on that responsibility. You can read more on these stories in our newsletter, The Daily. To subscribe, go to the More section on our website and click Newsletters on the left side of the screen. Webasto looks at cars the way a hammer looks at a nail. The German supplier will showcase products it expects to be fitted in the vast majority of future models at the IAA Mobility Show in Munich next month. The German supplier predicts major gains for high-tech roof systems. Webasto's Director of Product Management, Maximilian Hofbeck, says the company expects that 80 to 90 percent of future vehicles will have roofs with ambient lighting and segmented switchable glazing. And Webasto wants to capitalize on this trend. According to J.D. Power, EV charging satisfaction continues to drop. And as EV adoption increases, industry leaders should be concerned. According to J.D. Power study, satisfaction with public charging during the first half of the year fell to its lowest level recorded. Most consumers who are reluctant to buy an EV worry that public chargers are not available. And one executive says poor charger performance could be another hindrance and adds that automakers and public charging stakeholders should improve the charging experience before it becomes, quote, a runaway train. Hyundai Motors Unit is set to buy General Motors India plant, a move that will allow the automaker to exit the country as well as increase Hyundai's annual production. Hyundai aims to increase its cumulative production capacity to 1 million units per year. Hyundai India's second biggest car maker by sales did not mention a deal value. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us online at autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.